COVID-19 pandemic created a ton of bad habits for people. Some of those bad habits are overeating, smoking, and fighting for toilet paper and water. As for me, I became an insomniac. I would sleep during the day and stay awake during the night. I didn't really think much of it at the time, as I thought I had control over it. But as time went on, it would begin to affect me in terrible ways. My grades were dropping left and right. I started developing really bad eye, eye bags. And I became an overall lazier person. Luckily for me, the people around me began to notice my strange behavior and got me the help I so desperately needed. Insomnia is a terrible sleep disorder, but it can be cured. According to the National Sleep Foundation, 50 to 70 million people suffer from ongoing sleep disorders. Some of the more common ones being sleep apnea, narcolepsy, and insomnia. To fully understand what insomnia is, we must first establish what it is. After that, we can go over the various effects insomnia can have on your body, and of course, how to treat it. So let's get snoozy. So what exactly is insomnia? Insomnia is a common sleep disorder that gives the diagnosed a more difficult time sleeping. According to the National Sleep Foundation, adults, young or old, should be getting an average of seven or more hours of sleep. Failing to do so can result in poor health, weight gain, and of course, insomnia. So what are the symptoms? Some of the leading symptoms of insomnia include impaired performance of daily activities, constant chronic pain such as headaches and, and or migraines, and an overall lack of energy. Well, there are four main causes of insomnia. The first one being stress. Stress can fill your mind up with negative thoughts and concerns that can keep you up at night. The second one being blue light. This was the case for me as I'd always be using my phone before bed, and the blue light coming from my phone would reduce my melatonin. The third main cause of insomnia is a poor diet. Eating high calorie or sugary foods before bed can result in a loss of sleep. And the fourth main cause of insomnia is your sleep environment. Factors such as the temperature of the room, your bed, and your pillow can all be the reason that's why you're not getting enough sleep. The physical, I separated the effects into two categories, the physical effects and the cognitive effects. I first want to explore the physical effects. Insomnia can result in eye bags. That was the case for me, as I had horrible eye bags. It looked like I got beat up. The second, um, insomnia can also result in weight gain. To put the process in simpler terms, it increases your, it increases your appetite and makes your cravings more constant. And insomnia can put you at risk of several different diseases, such as heart disease, kidney disease, and diabetes. This is a picture of me before insomnia. The, <laughs> the cognitive effects, of, just like the body, insomnia can affect your brain. According to the National Institutes of Health, studies show that there is an increased level of fatigue anxiety, and or mood disturbances in individuals with uh, insomnia. Insomnia can also halt creative pursuits, productivity, and social interactions. Given my experience with insomnia, I can confirm that it does lower your drive and motivation to do stuff. I wouldn't do my homework, and I would constantly flake out on any plans that were made. I separated the types of insomnia, the treatment into two categories, self-care and medication. Ideally, you want to go with self-care as it's healthier and natural. The first thing you want to do is avoid naps. Sleeping during the day just enables you to stay up at night. The second thing you want to do is avoid using your phone or any electronic device during bedtime as stuff like social media, video games, and streaming services can all be a distraction, a distraction of you getting your precious seven hours. 
And the third thing you want to do is have a proper diet. You don't have to go all out. Just avoid eating three hours before bedtime. If self-care isn't working for you, there's always medication. The two, I, the two I have, the two medications I have listed on up on the screen, temazepam and zelpidem, are the most effective against insomnia. Keep in mind that these sedatives are addictive, and when combined with alcohol, can result in health issues. Today we went over what insomnia is and what leads people into getting the disorder. We then explore the effects it can have on a person. And that's what we learn about how to treat it. Um, insomnia is something that uh, affected me personally. Had I known the early signs of it, maybe I could have prevented the struggle that followed. This is why I chose insomnia as my topic, as I wanted to bring awareness to the disorder. Hopefully, I did just that.